hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to look at the 2025 sas paper one gce prediction okay so in today's video we are going to look at the 2025 ecz science paper one gce prediction so this prediction is a data driven forecast meaning that whatever was predicted here was based on data all right it's not about magic or trick but it's all about data driven forecast okay so how we made these predictions okay so the first thing is how we made these predictions so what we did was we analyzed nine full past papers like categories of examination past papers from 2017 to 2024 after we did that what we did was we mapped every question to the official ezz syllabus topics like every question which was in that exam we collected all the questions in those examinations papers and then we mapped them to the topics in the syllabus after mapping them what we did next was we scored topics based on uh, the first thing we did on frequency or how often they appeared so those topics after mapping them out from the syllabus and then compared them to how often they have been coming we came up with a, a frequency table like we were able to show how often each topic appeared and guess what the results are powerful data driven forecast not a guess so we came up with a very powerful result and the uh, analysis okay and the surprise to you so what we discovered was this we discovered the core of your exam topics the one we are calling the big five so we came up with the four topics which don't miss in the examination okay so we are saying these four topics areas appear in every single paper and consist consistently account for over 60 percent of the total marks like which topics are these like mechanics electricity or current electricity and nuclear physics and radioactivity waves uh, which is light and sound okay so these four topics become or are the core exam topics mechanics current electricity nuclear physics and radioactivity waves which is light and the sound okay so most of the marks for each examination question 60 percent of those marks are coming from these topics meaning that if you study well these topics and understand very well then you are almost halfway passing the exam mechanics current electricity nuclear physics and radioactivity waves which is light and sound that's why here we said master these and you will do well okay so now let's break down in mechanics for instance what exactly is found there or what exactly we found coming often in the exam what we found was eh, graphs of motion like most questions they were asking eh, calculating acceleration and distance from speed time graphs then the next thing under mechanics eh, was actually forces and motion like using the formula force is equal to mass times acceleration and then the other topic the subtopic we found was principle of moments like solving problems with balancing beams and the levers and then the other one is energy and power like calculations involving gravitational potential energy with the formula mass gravity height and also kinetic energy with the formula half times mass times velocity squared and power which is given by energy over time or work over time so under mechanics these are mostly asked under mechanics 
all right and in our online revisions we are revising these okay like we are picking questions from the exam on these ones to show how questions are actually coming here okay so if you want to see that one watch up to the end where i'm going to give the number if you want to be part and parcel of my online revision group so that you can join and revise and then be able to prepare for your examination like gar be guaranteed for the 60 percent of the marks okay then we move to electricity and nuclear physics we start with electricity okay so under electricity it's a circuit analysis a uh, question we are coming like circuit analysis where they ask you to find the total resistance in series and parallel circuits also ohm's law like you need to master the ohm's law like voltage is equal to current times resistance calculations here and also power power and energy where you use power is equal to uh, current times voltage and the energy is equal to voltage times current times time to find energy use and also cost so under electricity mostly these uh, questions have been coming then we move to nuclear physics under nuclear physics it's half life like you calculate from a graph or determine the fraction remaining under half life okay apart from that it is nuclear equations like you balance equations for alpha and beta decay then from there properties of radiation like you know the nature charge and penetration of alpha beta and gamma radiations so all these are being revised under our online revision group so to get in touch so that you can join the online revision group where each one of these will be looked at so that as you go in the exam you are well prepared about the 60 percent that i've talked about and the 40 percent will be also talked about so watch up to the end where i'm going to give the number the next waves light and sound so under waves you focus on the wave equation like wave equations questions are coming on wave equation so be ready to calculate speed frequency or wavelength using this formula uh, which is velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength okay then also refraction of light so under refraction refraction of light questions come where they ask you in uh, to calculate using snell's law refractive index which is equal to sine angle of uh, incidence over sine angle of refraction and also finding the refractive index using like real depth over apparent depth also questions on lenses and ray diagrams like drawing diagrams for converging lenses is also a common task and also echo calculations like using distance is equal to speed times time while remembering to divide the time by two for the return journey so these also are going to be revised then you move to the next most important topics so we are done with it, the big four that account for the 60 percent of the marks in the examinations so we go for the remaining 40 percent so these topics appear in almost every exam and are crucial for a high grade so once you know the big four and also these then you are guaranteed to have high grade like distinctions okay so the first one is actually thermophysics under thermophysics what comes is actually gas laws especially Boyce law which says uh, pressure uh, one and vo uh, and the volume one is equal to uh, pressure two and volume two and also heat transfer so under heat transfer questions are coming from conduction convection and the radiation then the other one is electromagnetic induction so under electric electromagnetic induction 
transformer calculations are a huge favorite like voltage of the primary coil over voltage of the secondary coil is equal to number of coils in the primary divided by number of coils in the secondary also how the dc and the ac generator work okay ac and the dc generator work so knowing this which we are going to revise is an added advantage then simple machines as well under simple machines pulleys levers so be ready to calculate what mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency for levers and the pulleys apart from that general physics like measurements under measurements reading vernier calipers and the micrometer screw gauges all these are going to be revised okay then now we need to talk about the most important skill for high marks so as you go to write your examinations for science paper one you need to have some skills the skill that you need to have for high marks is graphing so under graphing which skill do you need to have like you need to know how to choose correct axis and a sensible scale okay then also plot points accurately because like section c of the science paper one mostly it's graphing so if you know how to graph and the high marks there you'll be able to get more marks from that side okay so plot points accurately then draw a line or a curve of best fit have that skill to do so also have have the skill to calculate the gradient like gradient is found by dividing like change in y over change in x okay and also have a skill to explain the gradient what the gradient represent explain what the gradient represents like acceleration resistance refractive index or spring constant okay apart from that you need to have a strategy so what is your strategy revision like this is why we are doing a revision so like focus on the 60 percent of your revision time on the big four tire topic one like the mechanics the one we are talking about the mechanics sorry the mechanics electricity nuclear physics waves and light okay and these we are revising them so if you focus on revising then you are okay then you spend 30 percent of your time on the tire two the tire two topics are the ones that are also common like thermal physics electromagnetic induction simple machines and and measurements then from that the 10 percent use the final 10 percent to master key skills like the skills i've talked about like practice graphing you need to practice graphing formula arrangement and reading instruments okay also stating laws and definitions very important clearly and concisely stating the principle of moments newton's law hooke's law snell's law also uh, ohm's law electricity definitions okay very important this should be your strategy then i give you the golden rule the golden rule for passing the examination is do past paper questions like you revise past examination questions like we are going to do in the online lesson or uh, online revisions that i have the online revision group that i have of which i'm going to give you the number just very soon so it is the most effective way to prepare okay so we move now to the last presentation so i'm saying good luck with your preparation trust the process stay consistent focus on understanding not just memorizing your hard work and strategy preparation will pay off so this is my line to join my online revisions like science it is 120 because it is physics and chemistry so you can whatsapp me mostly in the evening around 17 because from like uh, monday to friday from morning up to uh, 15 i'm at school 
so you whatsapp me on 0977 92 for serious people only so thank you so much for watching please remember to like the video and make a comment in the comment section for anything that you may want to ask i'll be able to read from the comment sections and be able to respond and if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe turn on the bell notification so that when i upload another video for